Hey guys, Jackson Savvy here. Today we're going to go over using the Wavelink software from Elgato along with NVIDIA Broadcast. And the major focus will be to show y'all if you're having the double mic problem when you first use it, how you remedy that. So we're going to pull up a couple things first so we can discuss the hierarchy of the sounds. Go ahead and go to your Windows Start button and type in Control Panel. It should pop up and click on it. Then double click on Sound. And let's just set it off to the side here. Windows button one more time. Type in the word sound and click on sound settings. Now, if you've been using the software or playing with it at all, you know we can click up here to bring up individual app volumes. But what I wanted everybody to see was that no matter how you use it, the software pulls from certain areas of the system. So this sound, from control panel is actually the same thing as the Windows 10 or 11 sound settings. It's just set up a little bit differently. If I were to change my output device right now, it would change here as well. If I were to change my input device, it would change here as well. So we can just close that out, but whichever way you like to use it from the control panel or the newer settings menu, it will change it. Now, the way I've got mine set up is NVIDIA Broadcast for the microphone and noise removal is always set to default. That will point it back to Windows every time it'll look and say, okay, well, what's my current default? In this case, it's my Elgato Wave 3 mic. Now, this is important because if you like to stream like I do occasionally, a lot of times I'll use my headset. And for context, my PC is connected to a DAC for a SteelSeries Arctis Pro. That DAC connects to a sound bar through a fiber connection. So if I have the headset on, it comes to the headset. As soon as I turn that headset off, the sound reroutes to the sound bar. So whenever I change my mic right here, I can change it on the fly within Windows, change it over to my Arctis Pro, click it, and that'll let NVIDIA Broadcast know right away, okay, now we're using this mic. Now the kicker here, and we're gonna go ahead and click up here to where we see the app volume and device preferences. And I do have a video on this. This is just your advanced sound settings in Windows. That's just a shortcut to it. Now you'll see I've got my Elgato Wave 3 mic, my Arctis mic, and then NVIDIA Broadcast on here. I want it so I can see levels, but you'll notice I have the monitoring and the going out to stream turned off on all three of these sources. And there's a reason for that. I'm gonna go ahead and click this like I wanted it to come through to the stream, which is logical because that's my default mic, NVIDIA broadcast. It's pointing over to my Elgato. So you would think logically, yeah, I want that to come through on my stream. But look, I click, that, click that. that. Now, now we're, you're, you're gonna be hearing, hearing a doubling of me. me. And that, and was, that driving was driving me crazy, crazy not, not, not knowing why. why. And I originally thought I had it set up correctly in OBS, but as you'll see, now I've got them separated. And the reason for that is first, I found that I did not have this particular one, the system. So if you don't have this source selector here, add it, and that'll come up as Wavelink System. And once you click your button up here at the top right, make that Wavelink System be pointed to the output in Windows sound settings. So now this corresponds to this. And of course your mic there. But the other flip side of that is that also with an OBS, whether you're streaming or recording, have a source that is your wavelength stream and that will pop up. In your options, you'll see Wavelink Stream. It might not say three, but it'll say a number or just the Elgato Wave 3. What that is, is the culmination of everything that you've allowed through this whole line of sounds here. Down here, each of those correspond to the stream output. The monitor mix is just for you to hear. And you'll notice while I'm talking that it's not coming across the stream. 
Now, if we add some music or game volume, everything that is not my voice will be culminated into this source right here. So we don't get that doubling. Well, guys, that's basically it. I know there could be a whole video on the Wavelink, and there's so many ways to configure it that'll work just as well. But just want to give you all a heads up on that. And if you're using it, hope you love it like I do. Thanks for watching, guys.